Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be working on finding bounds for polynomial zeros. If you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet, they're in the description below. So let's get started. So when we use synthetic division, like I showed in the previous video, we often use synthetic division to find zeros. And sometimes you're hunting and pecking trying to guess at what the zeros are, and you're not often quite sure. But there's something that synthetic division will tell you if, it's, if your guess is too high or too low. And so let's do this one. We got 2, negative 4, 1, negative 2. And our guess is 3. So bring down the 2. Times 3 is 6. Add these 2, we get 2. Times 3 is 6. Add these 2, we get 7. Times 3 is 20. One. So we get a remainder of 19. So obviously, this is not a zero. But there's something else it's telling us. When all of these numbers are positive, this is telling us that this is too big. So it's saying that any number bigger than 3 will never be a zero. And so anytime the number is always positive, that's what that's telling you. So this is an upper bound. Now for the next one, here we've got 3, negative 4, 1, and 3. So here we've got negative 1. Bring down the 3, times negative 1 is negative 3. Add them, we get negative 7. Times negative 1 is 7, add them, we get 8. Times negative 1 is negative 8, we get negative 5. All right, so if I take a look at all of these, these are alternating. And when they are alternating, positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on, this is too small. So that means this is a lower bound. So yes, this is not a zero, but this is telling us something useful. It's telling us that any number less than one, not worth trying. It is, those are all too low. So, number three. Here we have x cubed, so that's a 1. There's no x squared term, so we have to put a 0, and then a 7, and then minus 2. So we're trying 0. So let's see what this gives us. So we have 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 7 times 0 is negative 2. So we get negative 4. Now, here we have positive 0, positive negative. And so for this one, we're not sure. Unfortunately, it's not all positive. It's not plus, minus, plus, minus. So that we're kind of stuck with at the moment. But that's OK. It's better to know that we don't know. And then finally, for the last one, we have 4, negative 6, negative 7, 9, and 2. And then we're plugging in 4. So 4 times 4 is 16, plus, so we get 10, times 4 is 40, negative 7 and 40 is 33, 33 and 4, let's see, that's 132, so that's 141, when we add them, the numbers are getting pretty big here, so that's 141 times 4 is 564, and so that's 566. Now I probably could have stopped at this point because we could see where this was going. They're all positive. And so that means that this number is too big. That is, this is an upper bound. All the zeros that this function has has to be less than 4. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have any suggestions you would like to see, type them in the comments below. Please click the Patreon to support the channel. And remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.